Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Can you believe they told me that I would never make it? Now we smiling in their faces, smiling in their faces. And Clark. I mean, that's. Is this because she is white or because they are jealous? So if you're new to the channel, welcome back. My name is Tyler Rose. This is Tyler Rose TV. So for today's video, we have something that's been trending. And usually I don't talk about sports, but I'm going to start, you know, mentioning sports more because I like sports. And I was like, you know what? I'm not going to make myself just talk about politics. I'm a well-versed man. I know a lot of different things, especially when it comes to basketball. But for today's video, we have the WNBA superstar herself, Caitlin Clark. So if you guys live under a rock and haven't seen, you know, maybe I'm here to inform you. Maybe you've never seen or never heard about what's going on. Caitlin Clark is uh, was a college star who, I mean, just made the game of basketball for women like a global thing. Like she became a household name and signed a twenty eight million dollar deal with Nike for her own signature shoe. And that's pretty big. Um, now, since she became a rookie in the WNBA, there's been a lot of speculation regarding how the fellow WNBA players are treating her as she is becoming a rookie and uh, as she became a rookie and as she's playing against some of the top competition now, more grown women, more physical, they're starting to think that maybe that she is being mistreated and being treated unfairly because she's being targeted. So let's get into the clip first um, and let's talk about what we got for today's video. So let's do it. And Clark. I mean, that's clearly a foul, which was called. The question is, will they call it unnecessary? Kennedy Carter, they call it an away from the ball foul because it happened prior to the inbound. So then anybody can shoot the free throw. So it was a cheap shot. Let's play, you know, it, it, it was a cheap shot. Um, so if you watch closely, she mentioned something, she, she mouthed something, right? The, the, the player that, that checked her, I don't know her name. I don't know these players enough. I don't, you know, I watch the NBA. I don't really watch the WNBA, but Caitlin Clark is making me want to watch the WNBA more. But if you, if you, if you watch this video, she mentions like the B word to her after. So what I heard the speculation is that she actually hit her with a cheap shot elbow. Cla Caitlin Clark, uh, is the, uh, the, the white, the white player. Right. And that's why I want to get into the white player, because is this because she is white or because they are jealous? Now, I'm going to break it down and say they are jealous because it, it doesn't have nothing to do with her being white. So people that don't know this, Kaylin Clark has increased the, the revenue for players. They used to fly commercial. Now they're flying a charter plane. The WNBA players are starting to live like NBA players almost. And. She's changing the game to the point where they had the most views in any WNBA game ever. And at one point, when she was playing in college, they had more viewership for her games than the men's. Now that is special. So let's think about this. Of all these players that have been playing the game of basketball their whole life, and now they're making this about race, all right? They now have this player come in and make the WNBA really relevant and change the game. I don't I don't think that all the players that are, you know, doing these cheap shot fouls like you can see here playing, I don't think all these players are after her because they don't like her or because they're jealous. I think I think it's it's because they want to stamp their feet like this is the WNBA. You're not going to come in here and dominate like a college level and we're going to get up, we're going to talk crap because you're getting all this hype. And this what? There's people just as talented as you here that didn't get all the hype. So now we're going to go at your head. And this is a game. This is this is n nothing more so than just competition, competitive nature. It, it got nothing to do. She could have been Asian, Black, Hispanic, Indian. It didn't matter her race. A lot of people want to make it about race. It didn't matter her race. What, what it mattered and what it broke it down to it was a simple fact that she is dominating the game of basketball in college and they're like, you ain't going to come in here doing all that step back threes, all the fancy dribbling. We're going to put you 
in check, and we're going to try to lock you up. Now, she's going to get the WNBA players paid because the ad revenue is going to go up because of the sense simple fact that she's increasing the ad revenue because people want to watch her play she's that good so people are trying to push this narrative that it's because they don't like that because she's white i'm like bro why are we why are we even putting race into this it doesn't matter if she was white or not there's gonna be play people that are gonna be jealous of her because she's great at what she does now she has to prove herself right and when you get into any situation right you're good at one level and then you go to the next level you need to prove that she could be good at this next level because from what we know her numbers aren't bad right but we don't know how she will last over the course of her MB WNBA career so when i see stuff like this when i see people making it about race when i see people saying oh you know she's overrated and why did why did the, uh, the WNBA players mad at her and why they're hating because that's another thing they're just saying a lot of people are jealous of her that they're, they're hating I don't look at it like that, even though it might be true. There might be players in a WNBA that don't like her because she gets more attention than them. At the end of the day, not to be sexist, but hey, they are a woman and they could get more jealous of a teammate or somebody that gets more attention than them because they've been here before. They've been in a WNBA for four to five years and they're better than her. They put up good numbers like her. And they're not getting this attention. They didn't get a $28 million deal. I mean, shoot, I would want a $28 million deal if I was just as good as her, right? So there's a sense of jealousy there. I'm not going to say that, but I just don't want to make it about race because I, I don't think it, it could have been anybody in her position. If she got the deal, the $28 million Nike deal, if she came out from a college career that, uh, you know, killing people, like literally, like, obviously not killing, but literally killing you on a basketball court, meaning, you know, you know, doing good, you know, YouTube sometimes takes things wrong. Uh, but that's that's the way I break it down. Let me know your thoughts of what you think about this. This has been like an ongoing thing. Like I said, just take a look at the clip again. There's more plays that this is the this is what's been the topic of today's discussion on Sports Center everywhere. We're just talking about this play. I I'm gonna chuck it up to say that they were going at it because it's a cheap shot. And from what I see here. It looks like it was re retaliation, you know what I mean? Uh, not because she's white, and that's just because uh, in this day and age, race is the, is the, is the race hustlers make money from creating narratives and talking like this. One thing I did see, say though, uh, hear someone say is that there should have been somebody that came to her protection, meaning her teammates, because this is your cash cow. She's going to get you guys paid too, because now that everybody in the world is watching her play, that means it's going to open up wallets to pay you because you play with her. So now we're watching her get chucked over, and you're not stepping up to the player that chucked her over. Like, hey, don't touch her. That's my star. That's my player. That's my teammate. That's my, you know, that's my homie. That's my dog. That's my, that's my camaraderie. You know what I mean? Like, step up and help your teammate in that situation. Number seven right there. You know what I mean? Like, step up. And, she, and you see the read the lips. You know, she's saying you're a B-I-T-C-H. So... That's all I really got for today's video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Is this because of racism that these people are targeting her in the WNBA? Is it because they're jealous? Or is it just because they're competitive? I think it's a mixture of everything. I'm pretty sure it could be a little bit of that. But the main thing I, I see and the, the, the conclusion I want to make from this video is that it's out of competitive nature. And it's because they want to let her know that when you come into this league, you're not going to dominate like you did in college. Now, that's that's just my opinion. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. My name is Tyler Rose. Thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And, guys, make sure you check out my website, bornwinnersclothing.com. Link in the description. Use your checkout promo code BORN20, and you get 20% off your next order. I'm going to see you guys on the next video.